Hughes Stadium in the heart of Fort Collins, Colorado, becomes the battleground for this college football contest. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The Colorado State Hunt Rams. has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here we go. Taken down in the backfield. throw he's taken down around the 34 yard line Hawkins with the tackle at the 34 yard line third down and he's tackled at about the 41 Brad it's a it's a first down and, and I obviously this offense right now is trying to maintain possession trying to get some rhythm going, and for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. He scrambled. Ball is loose. Fumble. And the defense is on it. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That'll make it second and four. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's pushed out of bounds. The 37-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's still going. Touchdown, Colorado State! Wow, how 
about that call to the tight end? Big payoff. Well, the offensive coordinator has wanted to incorporate this young player into their passing attack, and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 62-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So the score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rams are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 46. That's a game of 21 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Here's a running play. Tackle made at the 44. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second in inches. Let's it fly. And that one's incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 34-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. He's on the run. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Game 15 on the play. First down. They'll keep it on the ground again. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Inside the 10, touchdown Beavers. the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A nice eight play, 80 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Oregon State to kick. He's to the 20, looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. Maybe if they have a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. Long. 
Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Colorado State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and they come away empty-handed. We get a tie game at 7-7. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. From their own 39-yard line. It's second down. Caught and he's hit immediately. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. Fourth down. Johnson, back to return it. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Return for a game of nine yards. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Back and he's stuffed immediately. That was a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23 yard line, second down. He makes it to the 25 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and 11. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down in the open field. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it fourth and four. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Game seven on the play. That makes it second and two. And he has it on the corner. He gets to about the 41-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Mike 
And they make the stop at about the 27 yard line. He tackles him for a loss. the 29 yard line second down they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook and a quick throw and he's hit immediately nothing going on that play well here i think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it and they're going to put six dbs on the field to counter that five receiver look throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. No good. He hooked it left. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Quick throw out to the receiver, and they push him out at the 37. Caught open field. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. We've played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Three down, three down. 49 to fight, watch 49. Here we go. Finds his man, first down, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Complete. He was looking for the tight end. Number 30, the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Kicks away, and he missed it left. No good. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's brought down in the open field. That's a game of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. Fires out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. Scrambling around. And down he goes at about the 49. That makes it second and ten. Tackle made at the 45. Call it a gain of six yards. I'm on, I'm on. Hey, that five, makes it third five. and three. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 36. Hawkins makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. First down. They go back to him on a quick throw. Brought down at the 23. Gain of 13 yards. First down. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Beavers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. They'll bring him down at the 19. That makes it 37. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 49 to fight, 149. Right here, right here. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That brings up third and ten. Pressure got to him, and it's picked off. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. Oregon State is up a field goal. Run up the middle. That brings up second and five. Takes the ball inside. Gets out to about the 21. Defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. 
The kick is away. It's long enough. Not a lot of success on that kick. And our score, 10-7, Oregon State. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he hits him hard at the 19-yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 26. They come out on an empty backfield. Just throws this one away. So that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Yep, it was a rough go around for this kicker the last time. But this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. He zips it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Oregon State is up by three. but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Flips it, middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Johnson is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, he still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. The Beavers taking their first time out of the half. Brian is waiting for the snap. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon State has a three-point lead. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 38-yard line, 
It's second down. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Throws this one out to the right. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. From the 14-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. And they got him for a loss. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it third and goal. Oregon State holds a field goal lead. Looks to a receiver, touchdown! And he tacks on the extra point. It was an eight-play, 38-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Oregon State's called their final timeout. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The Beavers are sitting pretty now after getting out of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Bradford was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Let's it fly. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Check, check. Stingray! Stingray! And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Let's go, D. Got it and brought down immediately. Check, check! Watson. Hammerhead! Hammerhead! Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Spikes the ball. That 
brings up fourth and three. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. And down he goes at the 28. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. So we've played two quarters. The Beavers lead 20 to seven. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This has been the kind of first half that every pass rusher who's ever played the game just dreams of. It's been a free run at the quarterback. Now, I'm sitting here in the studio with you who are watching all these games. I know that the strategy is going to change. I know they're going to keep extra guys in the block. They're going to keep running backs in. They're going to chip pass rushers. But the defense knows, too. What kind of impact does that have on a defensive player when he knows it's coming? Well, it makes a huge impact, especially when you got defensive linemen that continue to come off the edge and make big plays because that doesn't mean I have to blitz that guy. If you want to take a tight end and put him over to my defensive end, there is a thing called a zone blitz. It's not a new invention. You can drop that guy into pass coverage, bring heat off the other side. So I think the defense knows to change up their strategies, and they also know that the quarterback and the OC, offensive coordinator, they're going to go to a quicker passing game. They can sit on the shorter routes because they know the ball's coming out. When you got deep, when you got pass rushers coming home like they have, cornerbacks get to be more aggressive. Safeties get to be more aggressive, and you can see them making bigger plays probably in the second half because of it. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Beavers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They bring the quarterback down. With the sack. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Hey, you don't want to see me. You don't want it. Snags it complete out of bounds, though, and they're going to lose yardage. Call it a loss of one yard. He's wrapped up for the sack. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Brian to punt. The 37. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know this. 
Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. at the 36-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. He goes downtown. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it hits the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That's a loss of about five. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start, so you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They've read it from the get-go. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Catches it, and that's all. Makes the grab. Number 55 makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. Third down. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long here after the sack. Brian is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Out to his wideout. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and six. Throws complete. Big loss. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it fourth and four. Johnson will be the return man. Touchdown. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. For Oregon State, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. And it always helps your offense when your defensive teammates are playing this well. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven.
he's tackled the 39-yard line. After a decent pickup. Point a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Check, check. Green nine, Tiger. Green, Tiger. Team. And he's hit immediately. Fights forward to about the 49. Two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 49. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice catch, first down, he's knocked out. That's good for a game. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. He's into the open field. He's taken down at the 12. Call the game of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Tackle made around the 12-yard line. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Brought down around the 14-yard line. That's a two yards on the play. That brings up fourth and three. He gets it up, and he got it. Colorado State is ready to kick it away. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Number 10 with the tackle at the 26-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Gain of 18 on the play. First down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's a beautiful run. That'll make it second to seven. They'll keep it on the ground again. Good outside run there. On the carry. That's good for a game of four yards. Third down. Green, 
He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. No game on the play. Fourth down. The Rams quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I don't think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Just throws this one away. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled in the open field. They get a good seven yards on that one. Hey, they picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Got a man down here. Knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great Still way to stall down. out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Mark 55, Mark 55. With the pass incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Nice run there. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and eight. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 2010, Beaver. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to get the football back. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Brian is waiting for the snap. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The defense has gotten a good dose of this young man's abilities today, Kirk. Well, his mobility in the pocket, I think, is what's causing this defense nightmares. You know, if there's anybody out there that's still doubting whether or not this guy has the goods that can throw the football and play quarterback, well, I think he's proven that he can. He's got his team in pretty good position to win this game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws falling back and got his man. He's tackled in the open field. Sweet on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 50. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. He keeps it. Excellent open field tackle. Gain of 19 yards. First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. 
That brings up second and one. Caught open field, and he's taken down at the 14. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. Draw play, taken down in the backfield. Second and long. Ball on the 18-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's under pressure. Fires incomplete. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Oregon State gets set to kick this one away. Clark fields it at the two, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Got the corner. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He'll get it again, and he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and seven. Three down, three down. 49 to fight, watch 49. Easy, two, three, nine. 29. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Fourth and seven. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. at the 43-yard line. Number 34 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up second and five. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Again with a carry, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of four on the play. That'll make it third and five. Look at the scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of 11 yards. That brings up fourth and 15. Johnson is back to receive. Tackle made at the 22. Oh, 
Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 25 yard line, it's third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. Crawford on the tackle at the 29 yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. Called a gain of 10 yards. First down. Inside the 10, he's knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Beavers! Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he hits the PAT. A poor play, 31-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside, defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires that quickly, incomplete. It's third down and five to go. Ball in the 29. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Black five, black go! On the throw, incomplete pass. Wilson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Tight right, tight right, tight right. Oh, out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. And two. Three, nine. Nine. Quick throw, he gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. From the 45-yard line, first down. Hit, hit, hit. 
Throws a strike over the middle. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. Easy, easy. Flair. Flair. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Let's it go. The pass falls incomplete. Number 30, the intended receiver. This is the eighth play. play of this drive. That brings up third and ten. Let's it fly. They can't connect. Incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, oh, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. And he tacks on the extra point. Brought down at the 44. They were really hoping to get the ball back there. Well, now they have to call on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball back. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Brought down around the 36-yard line. The Rams will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's at the 20, the 10. They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. Colorado State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They put everyone up on the line. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. Big time touchdown, and that should do it. converts the extra point with a three-play 44-yard drive and it's good for seven points Oregon State lines up for the kickoff whoa he just took a lick it well this is turning into a shootout here now remember the last time we saw this offense out on the field they answered the bell and scored a touchdown can they do that now a second time the offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. Under a minute left. And he stops the clock with a spike. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 29. Wants to go long and does. It definitely put them in better field position. Hey, kill, I just kill, have a kill. feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. He throws a dart to the left. Bring him down right around the eight yard line. Easy, Flair! That brings up Blair. second and goal. Spikes the ball. That makes 
the third and goal. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. He's under pressure. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Three down, three down. Watch 35, watch 35. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They That'll make it second and inches. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Oregon State 37, Colorado State 17. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.